What's up, y'all? I'm Quisha Elise, and welcome to or back to my channel. I'm glad you clicked on my video on these amazing distressed butterfly locks. This was my first time trying these, and they came out so pretty, and it was easy to style. And plus, it's a protective style. So if you want to see how I did these, stay tuned. But before I jump into this video, make sure you go ahead and like and subscribe. I'm on my way to my first 1,000 subs, and I do appreciate y'all support. And while you're at it, go ahead and follow your girl on social media as well. I didn't do it on camera, but I parted my hair into small boxes and then tied the little ponytails with rubber bands. This was a pretty easy hairstyle to do after I got the hang of it, but the parting was probably the longest part. So the hair I'm using is gonna be this Water Wave from Janet Collection. It's crochet hair in 1B, and it's 24 inches. I used two strands of hair for each lock. Before starting, I made sure one side of the hair is longer than the other one. To start the lock, you want to start braiding your real hair with the synthetic hair down about two inches. And then you want to go with the braiding hair and the shorter side of the synthetic hair and wrap those both up to your root so that way we can cover up the rubber band. Once you got the rubber band covered up, taking that same, uh, the hair with your natural hair down to how long you want it to be, and then put your finger and create a loop and start wrapping back up and down the lock. Pull it down so y'all can see and zoom in a little bit. To complete that distressed look, as you're wrapping up, put your finger in the path of it, wrap it around once, and then go ahead and pull your finger out, and this is how it's gonna come out looking. And then just continue wrapping the end up until all the hair is tucked in. That was a little confusing. I'll go ahead and show it again. As you're wrapping the hair down or up the lock, just take the hand that has the lock and tuck your thumb or finger in the path and then just wrap your hair, one side of the hair, and then pull your finger back out. Continuing that process until you get to the length that you want, just use one of the other locks as your measurement. And then to close it, wrap your finger in the hair and make a loop. And then we'll just take the end or the extra hair and just start wrapping it back up and down, depending on how much hair you have left. All right, I'm going to start from the beginning again, just so y'all can get it. Braid the synthetic hair and your real hair about two inches down, and then take your real hair with the shorter side of the synthetic hair and start wrapping up so you can cover the rubber band. And then once that's all the way covered up, just take the real hair and the shorter side and start wrapping it back down to the length that you want the lock to be. And as I said, I know uh, I said this was my first time trying this look, but once I got the hang of the technique, it became really easy and simple to do and made the process go a lot quicker to get this hairstyle done. If you've seen any of my other videos, then you know that I just love accessories in my hair, especially like these little gold pieces. So I also added some of those as well just to give it a more stylish look. And you can also use it to cover up any parts or imperfections, maybe like your hair, real hair sticking out anywhere 
you can use these little gold pieces to cover those up. As I said before, this is a protective style. So I'll show y'all the detangler that I used. It's the um, Unjackies, not on my watch, instant detangling therapy. It softens and moisturizes the hair and then makes it easy to detangle with the comb. And then I just apply Shine and Jam to the lock, uh, well, not to the lock, to my real hair um, to keep it moisturized and keep everything especially my real hair, all together in one. So I'm gonna go over it one more time. As I said before, go ahead and braid the synthetic hair into your real hair, down about two inches, two inches or so, and then take your natural hair with the synthetic hair on the shorter side and start wrapping it up to cover the rubber band and then just take that same side and start wrapping down the lock. And then once you get to the length that you want the lock to be, take your finger and make a loop with the hair and wrap the end of it back up the lock and then every uh, so often taking your finger and taking it and put it, it in the loop and then wrapping your hair around it one time and then pulling your finger back out. I hope this video was easy for y'all to follow on this cute protective style that I found. These distressed locks are very popular right now as it is really cute and a super protective style. And then, you know, you can't forget the edges. I'm using Maury's Edge Wax to lay my edges. And then I pulled back some of the locks into like a little ponytail in the middle. That way y'all can see one of the, you know, many versatile styles that y'all can do with these locks. I really love these locks and how it came out. The style is so natural looking and versatile and cute for the spring right now. Um, as I said, if you've seen my videos, I am super lazy. So this is perfect for me and I can use this on the go and then just play around with it and make different looks. And it is protecting my hair underneath and I kept these up for about two, 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 three weeks. Uh, but I probably could have kept them up longer. Um, but I just wanted to try a different style. But yeah, these are super cute. Um, I want to thank y'all for watching my video. Again, my name is Quisha Elise. Don't forget to like, comment what you thought about this hairstyle. And also go ahead and hit subscribe and turn on that notification bell if you want to see more styles like this from me. Um, I definitely will try this style again. I wanted to also make sure my scalp was oiled. 
And then this also helps to grow your natural hair as well while it's in the protective style. So I went here and just oiled the parts and then just made sure to rub that into my scalp to help my hair grow underneath it and to protect it in this style. All right, y'all, I will see y'all in my next video. And don't forget to also look at my past videos as well, as I have many other natural hairstyles like this one. And I'll see y'all later.